time. Mic check one, two. Nice. Action. First one of the season. Tis the season. I'm feeling good. Confident, ready to put out what we've been practicing for months. It's about that time. Here we go, here we go. Hey, let's work hard, let's play hard, let's have fun. Handle business, let's go. Game one, here we go. Three weeks last spring injected such vitality into UCLA basketball. Which brings us to the tremendous expectation now for this UCLA program. Final four. Rotation guys back. They understand there's high expectations, but I get the sense that this group's up for the challenge. Lefty shooter here is Bernard. First points of the game. To kick off the, you know, our first game, and you know, like all the other guys on the team, we're just excited to get finally get the season started. Quick up the floor, hot. But you know, it's been what? Last time we really were playing was early April. This guy too. The screen, Kaiman hits. Bernard. Yeah, Bernard's got 19. That's that's just the culture of our, of our team. Um, everybody everybody can hoop. Iron sharpens iron. So you know it's 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 amazing to see our teammates uh, grow, make big leaps, and, and we're expecting a lot from you know a lot of people on the team. So. That worked. Ex Setting up Nuba! Exclamation point. 95 to 58, five in double figures for the Bruins, Juzang and Bernard, 19. The thing about my staff, we, uh, we've we all been places where you have to develop players. And we, all, uh, we all coached at, at the lower levels. The player development is just not, you know, we believe in it. That's, when, that's really a, what makes you most happy is <laughs> I saw you point up. Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah, you better connect with me with that one. <laughs> you better, like, <laughs> my big man about to help. Just toss it up. Please, please, I got you. Well, I think, you know, you grow up the son of a coach. Um, you know, you have a reverence for people like Coach Wooden. There's a lot of responsibility here that, uh, so I look at it as just an unbelievable opportunity to make sure that Coach Wooden's program is being run the right way. You know, UCLA is the best of the best. The opportunity here was just, it was just too good to pass up. It means a lot. Uh, it means a lot, you know, being that group of guys, you know, that he first started with here at a new school. You know, I know that's something that he probably won't forget, and I know that I won't for sure. It's been an easier transition for me because the guys that were on the team when I got here, I really want to win. When the older guys, Jules, Cody, Tiger, uh, David, Kenny, you know, they, they, they've really bought into listening and playing with some toughness and togetherness. You see my man right here? He's working. He's getting us better. Let's go. Come on now, because of him, man. You know, it was an easy transition for us. You know, we had to, we had to adjust, you know, to the strategies and his coaching style. But it helped us grow and it helped us learn. He taught us how to be a better player and a better person off the court. So it's really fun having him as a coach and it's fun to win with him. I only ever knew how it was to play under Coach Cronin. And I mean, it's just been a blessing uh, to play for such a great coach who cares so much about us, who's always trying to push us to be better every single day. You know, you have to come in when you take over a program. Um, you can't do anything short term. That's really the, the, the trademark of all successful coaches, companies, great leaders. Coming into a new program, uh, one of the big things for coaches is to establish culture. And, then with, and within his two years here, I mean, I think he's done a very good job of establishing that culture really quick, uh, getting us all bought in to the way that we need to play as a team and that will help us win. On game night, if you play for UCLA, we're going to play to win. Um, you know, we're not going to rent the four letters to get to the NBA, you know. So if you get to put our jersey on, again, going back to, like, my responsibility, that you get to play in, in Westwood, in the nicest place in the country, you know, from a collegiate standpoint. You also get to play at UCLA with the greatest tradition ever, home of arguably the greatest college or pro player ever, Kareem, the greatest teams ever uh, that Coach Wooden had, the greatest coach ever, Coach Wooden. You have to pay it back by playing to win. In the future, I see a, a very uh, professional program. 
I see UCLA, you know, getting back to the uh, glory days. I see a new age of, you know, of national championships and Final Fours and Final Four runs. You know, there's a very high standard. I feel like he's going to get the program back to that standard if he didn't already. I know with, you know, this is being his first real group of guys, you know, just trying to keep that legacy of that culture, uh, you know, into the next generation. You know, basketball is simple. We're going to play to win and we're going to do things right, uh, whether it's uh, be a good person or be a good teammate. So that's just, you know, from when you talk about culture, to me, it's not real complicated. Um, you know, that, that uh, if you wear, put our jersey on, you have to play uh, for the name on the front of the jersey, and you got to be, you, you got to sacrifice whatever you need to do to help your team win. Oh, I've had two I workouts, why just keep getting better? All right, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. See you. Been here since 8 in the morning. 10 a.m. 1 a.m. Thank you. Let's go. We got a hot dog with your name on it. We got, we got ketchup, mustard. You see it over there? We got a grill. We got a grill over there. It's back there. Little donuts. Thank you. They got 10 boxes right there. You're doing homework. I like that. Oh, yeah. doing homework. What's up? Can I get a selfie? Oh, thank you for pumping. Pump. Pump. Oh, yeah. 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 You're in charge. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I want to walk on proud. Oh, yeah. My on-ball on defense is on another level. I, I, I play above my height, too. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> you better. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Right, good luck tonight. Good luck tonight. Thank you, Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. you got some donuts? Oh, here you go. Here you go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Go Bruins! Seat left to be sold for this one. It is the home game of the year for UCLA. It's the number two Bruins host the number four Wildcats of Illinois. <laughs> Driving, bangs it, no good. Oh, a two-hand putback by Hockey. Now finds Hockey behind the back dribble, steps to the left elbow. Out to Bernard, a three ball coming, it's good! Out to Singleton, a three ball, bang! Daniels bounce pass out to Daniels. It's knocked away by Juzang. He leads a two-on-one with Clark. Clark back to Juzang, lays it up. Good! Six seconds left in the half. Jules Bernard pass into Juzang. Two dribbles, a pull-up and the horn. Good! Bruins have the lead in the break. The Bruins were the victims of a 16-2 Villanova run, and bang! They turned it around with the final seven left in the half. Breaking away gives to Moore, who jams it in. Villanova's got the lead. And here he comes quickly the other way. Hawkins to Juzang. Three ball. Bang! Bruins on top. Hawkins. Three ball coming. Going with a split. The big time three. He'll get out to Justin Moore, who steps right around Johnson to an open Gillespie. A three ball rainbow's good. It's a 10 point game. To Hawkins. Ahead to Campbell. He'll launch a three. He'll hit a three. And he shakes those dreadlocks around. Jab step. Carries free. A runner in the lane. Banked it in. We're tied. Will drive to the paint. A runner, bank shot. No, and Clark the rebound as time expires. Overtime. Nice job by Clark. That's why you have the fireman in there. The wander left. Wait for help. Juzang says, now nah, I got this. Turnaround jumper. Bang! That's a big shot. Hawkins. Three ball coming. Gone with a split. 86 to 77. The Bruins have done it. They've beaten Villanova. The Bruins have outscored Villanova 30 to 14 since trailing 60 to 50. What a magic trick here at Pauley. What a show they put on. It's going to be a lit year, baby. A lot more fun to come. And the Pauley Pavilion faithful loving every second of it. It's just, it's a beautiful feeling. This is the first time we've been sold out Pauley in a long time, you know what I mean? Great to see all the fans out here, all the love and support. We're going to keep winning, so y'all need to keep coming out. Come out.